Gladys Johnson, born Gladys Jackson. I'm from Los Angeles, California, in the heart of South Central LA. It's true, I'm not the same. I do it my own way. I'm nothing like the average dancer. I'm climbing. I started dancing at the age of four in elementary. I went to Crenshaw High School. Everybody should know what that is. It's always in movies. Loving basketball. Graduated. My first acting and dancing gig was when I was about 19, maybe 18 or 19 years old. And it was with the Black Eyed Peas. I did a music video with them called Hey Mama. And I got to dance with Fergie on set. And I did a commercial, a shoe commercial for K-Swiss. I lived with my dad um, when I was younger, and my mom was on drugs, so she wasn't really around that much. So it was my dad that took care of me, made sure I was in dance. And so it was him that pushed me and motivated me to get out there and start dancing. There was this group that I was in called Get 'em Up Clowns, and you all probably heard of Tommy the Clown. Well, there were many other groups that started after him and we were called clown dancers and we were painting our face and our manager, she was sort of like our director, dance director, they would drive around and we would jump out these trucks, these big SUV trucks and we would dance and there was this one time um, I got called to do a gig and it was, the choreographer was Fatima. It was for a Will Smith Switch video and I was on set and I had already worked with her before and so I wanted her to get my, I was trying to get her attention. I'm on set like, hey, I'm here. And there was this young lady dancing with Will Smith and um, I wanted to do it so bad and so I was trying to get Fatima's attention and so she called me over there and she's like, come on, come on. And so I was like, oh my God, I'm finna dance with Will Smith. Oh my God, oh my God. And so in my mind, I'm like, I'm just gonna pass out, I'm gonna pass out. And so we're doing the dance and we're doing it and I don't know, it was the time of my life. I was really scared though. I was scared. I don't know if he knew it, but I was scared, but it was a good experience. And I, I didn't make, my part didn't make the cut of the video, but you know. So I moved from LA, Los Angeles to um, Louisiana. And I did, you know, look for dance and stuff there, but I was living in a small town and they didn't really have much. And I went to school, college, and I studied theater. So when I got in that program, I was able to do some shows and sh dance a little. And after that, I graduated and I was like, I don't really wanna go back home. So I, I tried to find a place that was kind of similar to home. And so I found Dallas, DFW area, and went from there. I always wanted a dance team because I've always been a part of a dance team or a dance group. And I used to create them when I was younger. I used to gather my friends around in the neighborhood and make them dance. And that's just all I ever wanted to do. They wanted to play and go to the park. And I'm like, we're gonna dance. We're gonna make up this dance step. And then I moved to Dallas and I joined a team called Mom Crew and it was for moms. And I really liked what it stood for. And I have had a lot of exciting things happen in my dance career, but the most exciting one to me has been to America's Got Talent. And I have never been on an airplane before and that was my first time on an airplane. So that was crazy. And I got to meet Tyra Banks. She was the host at the time for America's Got Talent. And we got to meet her and, you know, I got to see the judges and it was exciting. I mean, we got the inf we got the call and our director told us about it and we worked hard for it, long days, long nights, and it was very exciting. I did feel good about myself because I could wear certain things, but I was hungry, very. <laughs> I had to laugh, I was hungry. I was hungry and I wasn't eating and I just wanted to be the average size dancer. And then it hit me that, you know, I knew what kind of team that I wanted. And so I left Mom Crew and started Curvy Queens of Dallas. 
it was hard because I lost friends. You know, a lot of people didn't believe in me. A lot of people didn't understand why I was doing what I was doing, but I knew I had a purpose. And so that had to be the hardest part because people doubt you and you begin to doubt yourself and you just have to be your own encouragement sometimes. Curvy Queens was created in 2018 and I do chapters. I know a lot of people do like seasons and but I do chapters and you know like you join chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. And I did chapters because everyone wants to start a new chapter in their lives every year, you know, new journey, New Year's resolutions. So I do that because I want them to be able to start a new chapter in their life and do something different. When Curvy Queens did Good Morning Texas, I was proud. I was a, a proud director. I was happy that they reached out to us and they knew who we were and the girls were excited and I was like, yes, this is, this is, this is okay. We're going to get somewhere. With America's Got Talent, it was just for their auditions, but they knew who we were. They reached out to us personally and they wanted us to do some B-roll filming and it was exciting. We went there and they had us acting out all kinds of different scenes like we had made it and stuff like that, so that was exciting. Since my childhood, I've used dance to help me overcome a lot of pain, being taken away from my family, being put in foster homes, being adopted, my mom being on drugs, my dad being incarcerated, and then recently, my mom passing away, October 2019. My dream has always been to be a professional dancer, and I've accomplished that. I've done many things in the dance industry, and so my main focus now is to get Curvy Queens where they need to be. Ten years from now, I hope to expand Curvy Queens of Dallas and make it a Curvy Queens of LA or Curvy Queens of Atlanta. If you would like to be a professional dancer, I will tell you to go for it, no matter how you look, no matter your size, just go for it. Study your craft and encourage yourself no matter what. It's true, I'm not the same. I do it my own way. I'm nothing like the average dancer.